we hear the insult of white trash being thrown out a lot this season. Why is that such a trigger for everyone? I don't think it's a bad thing. I've been called worse. I never heard anybody say it, but. That's like a classic term back where I'm from. I love you when you did that, you just had an Back accident. where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you perceive somebody to be being a little like fake or like wanting to like use people a little bit or have ulterior motives and they're like portraying a life that's not, like true colors come out later. No, you call them white trash whenever it's like, it's when Southern people get a little red, you know? There's two things. Uh, there's country and there's rednecks and f rednecks. You know what I mean? I love country people, love them, love them. I mean, in the South, calling somebody white trash, it's just, it's like the lowest denominator. You know what, Shep him. He said that I was a white trash hairstylist. Shep did? Yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't know the country club I grew up in was white trash, but. Oh my God. Whatever, I pay my taxes, your parents pay yours. You're a joke. I think that it's unacceptable on every level. It's just a pejorative term that should not be used and she doesn't deserve that. So do you think Madison is white trash? I'm not gonna get into name call anymore. He just honestly, hates I'm her above all this. Yeah, he's, I'm, I'm honestly above all he this. He hates her because two things, how she treated our friend, and second of all, it started to affect our life. That's Shep's greatest downfall, is he just fires from the hip. He does not think before he speaks, and he can say some really mean and hurtful things. For me, I felt like it was you're a white trash hairstylist. Yeah, I mean that, and that's I was like, easy now. That's nasty. Easy now. Yeah. At the girls' dinner, there were three or four of the girls that said that Shep made them cry. It's unacceptable. He's made me cry before, and you know, a couple hours later, he will call me and say, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said that." Um, he gets this like deep anger within him, and it just—he hasn't learned how to control it. He could—he could do well with anger management. So how was the RV ride? I had a lot of fun on that RV ride. Yes, yeah, uh, RVs are always fun. Yeah, and I mean, Whitney went dragging and kicking and screaming onto that thing. Making Whitney do things that he doesn't want to do is one of- Is a like, sport like, in Yes, and, it and it's one of the best. I mean, can you imagine Whitney on the RV? It's like his worst nightmare. It was. Having to use a bathroom on a he probably bought, brought so much hand sanitizer. It was his worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney, what'd you do? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how to flush this thing. He texted me, he's like, I'm looking for hotels, but there aren't any, like, there's nothing. There wasn't. There wasn't, which made it even better. I was like, you have to suffer this. You have to endure. I mean, I was having the time of my life. The whole thing was great fun. I'm really glad we did yeah, it. Yeah, Whitney and Shep went back to their bully days of boarding no, school. No, no. And they were getting under my skin. That's how guys act. I don't understand. Yeah. We get these tweets and no. stuff, and it's like, how dare you? I'm like, don't you understand how men fucking act? Are you crazy? Wow, that's it's, a lot of too much Oh my God, too many. If, you know, if you're gonna get involved with this, it's I from already up did, here. I put yeah, them on the I don't the want grill. high blood pressure and cancer. Whitney, shut the up. <laughs> I wasn't gonna hit Whitney, but he was going, like, I got really mad, so I just threw a hot dog and it smacked him right in the face. <laughs> Take uh, you Yeah. <laughs> Whitney, like, <laughs> threw a hot dog in Craig's face. Oh, no! Cook your own no! hot dog, I'm serious. Dude, you got hot dog juice on my glasses. Craig, why were you so mad about the food on the camping trip? I pride myself on my cooking and um, things. I'm also a control person and a planner and, like, when things are taken out of my control and I'm lied to about stuff, then I would have done it a lot differently. And so I was dependent on other people, which I shouldn't have been. And I was mad that I was the cooking and they were just being unappreciative assholes and challenging if I knew how to cook, which they damn well knew that I knew how to cook. I've never smoked anything. Yes, but you said you were a grill master. You should know All that right. you have to turn over ribs and cook both sides. You, but you don't know. If you no, knew, no, I never claimed I... to know. Kind of what it is, in my opinion, on this trip is that Whitney and Shep together are like riffing off each other. I mean, they are back and forth. Craig is such an easy target because 
he can take it. Well, actually, he actually he can't take it. No, he cannot take but it. But he will always he'll always bring, bounce back. He'll always bounce back. Always yeah. bounce back. And Shep kind of gets into this like you know boarding school mentality where he's like, back in boarding school, we used to pick on him, and I'm like, it, it's like. You know, you don't just pick, he like takes it to that next level. He's like, let's see if I can actually break Craig. So are there moments where y'all are just nice to each other, like on the trip? Yeah, we had a great time. It wasn't until, like the whole ride up was hilarious. Well, Shep and I got in a huge fight and it was an Outback. I think Craig left his passport at Outback Steakhouse <laughs> on the side of the road. And every, and it literally two hours behind us, we had to call them and have yeah. them overnight it. It was a disaster. Craig's a real lot of real joy to travel with. Yeah. I go to McDonald's more than I should. Same for Taco Bell. Have you decided what you wanted to have here, ma'am? Uh, the usual. Of course. You gotta get a cheeseburger with no tomato on it. I like to do things in a festive way. Shall I serve, madam? A patch. Just. A soupçon. Yes, thank you. So why not make it super special? There's nothing wrong with having great wine with a great hamburger. I like dollar menus. I like the McDonald's dollar menu, and I like the Wendy's dollar menu. And you wonder why you got gas. Can we please? No, we can't. Stop <laughs> with that. I try not to eat fast food, man. I got a personal trainer now. <laughs> I've gone to Chick-fil-A just recently. I've just discovered Chick-fil-A. And I like the sauces and those chicken tenders. You know that Chick-fil-A, when I was pregnant, actually invited me to their headquarters in Atlanta? Did you go? I couldn't, because I couldn't fly. I was too late in my pregnancy. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. Are you kidding me? You're eating for two. Oh, you got extra large. That's right. What, what were they, they going to offer you? Like they a lifetime of me, nuggets? They were going to give me like the Willy Wonka tour. And I was, I was like, I have arrived. Chick-fil-A is my favorite. My cousin, who lives with me, she works with me as well. Her name's Morgan. We go to Chick-fil-A a couple times a week, and we found it's more expensive to do separate, like two different orders. So we just order the 30 count. <laughs> I love sweet tea, but I get cavities really easily, so I'm trying to do unsweet with a little splash lemonade, which seems to be better for me. So that's like my healthier <laughs> drink. So after a night out, it's 2 a.m., which drive through do you go to? Oh, well, the one on Coleman has Taco Bell. Charleston's lacking late night because Spring Street that has all the fast food is in the complete opposite way of my ride home. So it's either gas station food Dude, or... We're, late night, we're inviting every girl we know and, and someone's getting beer. It's not yeah, food. it's not a food thing. Yeah. <laughs> I actually looked into buying a franchise. It's a half a million dollars. You but have to work there. You have to work there and you have to be invited. Would you hire any of your castmates to work for your Chick-fil-A franchise? Oh my God. No. No, because they wouldn't show up. They'd be late? No. I ain't wearing a hairnet. <laughs> no. Is Eliza a good addition to the group? Uh, is she a good addition to the group? Quite frankly, she's much younger, and I understand I was younger when I met everyone, but I had to grow up real quick. It was just like my circumstance. She's very young. She's like really nothing in common with us. Listen, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I love Eliza. I know that she can come off super annoying and rub people the wrong way, but she's a good person. I'm not even gonna lie, I was annoyed during the dinner. I'm sorry I'm young and hot and just graduated college. But I think because you were uncomfortable too, you were overcompensating and trying to be so friendly and so that it came yeah. off wrong. I've known her a long time. I think that maybe coming into the group, she gave the wrong impression and didn't like portray her most authentic self, but hopefully, you know, people can start to see her for... She's in a different stage of life, too. She, yeah. she hasn't gone through a lot of... She doesn't have as much self-awareness, maybe, or, like, no filter, you know, all that stuff, but she's a... She would never have malintent. Two weeks ago, I was supposed to go to the Bahamas, um, but I was running on lime time per usual, and the plane crashed. Yes, I heard about that. Yeah. You were supposed to be on that plane. Yes, but you just have to choose happiness, and that's why I just wanted you to come and move past all the drama. Yeah. Why is 
Eliza has always been like a little sister to me, and I love her, but I think she's a little bit too young. Yeah, I mean, I think she's she's a firecracker yeah. for sure. When you go two years of not speaking to anybody, you need to be more socially aware. But it's it, hard with her age. It's, yeah, it's hard to relate to things that she wants to talk about, and it's it takes a lot of patience. But she does have an incredible heart. I think she's a good girl. She, she really does. She works hard, and she's she's got know? she had, she's had a rough start. She's a very hard worker, and and. The crazy thing about Eliza is she doesn't need to be a crazy hard worker. Yeah. She she comes from a very established, well-off Charleston family and um, could very easily just rely on her family's money, and she doesn't. So I, I respect that. Yeah. Hey, y'all. It's Austin. Subscribe here if you like the video and click here for more content.